You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Man. All right, yo, man, 15 Minutes of Fame. Yeah. Minus Idi Amin. Jag, what's up, brother? Yeah, man, we huh? here, man. Huh? I mean, Cali, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have saw you earlier, man, but it's like the distance from where I was at and where you was at, I was like, I might as well drove back to yeah, Jersey. Yeah, yeah, because they going to tell you I stay in the hood in L.A. somewhere, and I don't, you know what I huh? mean? That's what they going to tell you, though. You know, I'm still slumming it somewhere. So, you know, it is. I stay far, man, far away from the city. There's so much shit going on right now. It's the wild, wild west right now, man, you know, so... Yeah, it's, you it's, gotta do what's right for yeah, you and your family. family yeah, you know what I mean. Right. It's, it's just safer out that way, you know. Yeah. You got kids and shit like that. And yeah, we, this is too much drama. Hey, well, uh, welcome back to Battle Rap again, man. Thank you for having <laughs> me again, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, I, I'm not having you, the, the fans, the world, the battle. Fans. Yeah, yeah, man. The battle, the battle yeah. fans. Um, I mean, I'm happy to be here, man. You know, it's a blessing uh, to to. Be able to come back after all them years and have a good enough return to get another match and have a good enough second match to be able to get a third match to get somebody who beastie. You know what I mean? Right, right. Um, this is what I needed. This with what the battle rap world needed. They needed to see something like this to see what Jag really could do. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm trying to make my name known. Like I told Matt, he was a stepping stone. No disrespect to Old Red, but Old Red, you a stepping stone too, fool. Like, I ain't stopping here, my nigga. Like, yeah, nah, I'm leaving with a legacy. Like, my, you got to look at my first three names coming to Battle Rap. I was just talking to Mac Myron the other day. He said, dog, ain't nobody came to Battle Rap like that, not even me. He said, like, you know what I'm saying? Your lineups, my resume look wild. It looked wild. You well, know what well your boy came back. Cass came back to Diz, then Goods, and then Cass was uh, Cass. He beat awesome. Cass. Cass known for battle rapping. Jag ain't okay. known for battle okay. rapping. Everybody okay. said I couldn't do it. Everybody said Math, Math was going to trash me so bad. Niggas said, I seen battle rappers say, I don't even want to see this shit. I don't want to see Jag get up there. This shit going to be embarrassing. I seen a whole bunch of people saying that. Jag, you an industry dude. He ain't been on stage so long. He ain't got no stage presence. He ain't got none of that. I heard all that shit, man. You know what I mean? Then the next match, like, they're going to keep finding somebody, you know, to to say he going to lose to him. Like, you know what I'm saying? So what happened if I beat this man? Then what they going to say? Oh, shit. Oh, he, oh, red, oh, like, he ain't, man, that's an excuse for everything. This the one, this the one sport where I uh, hear a whole bunch of grown men make excuses for everything. All you niggas stop making excuses for these niggas, dawg. I seen Old Red choke, my nigga. I ain't never choke. I seen that man choke before, so don't tell me about no good Old Red. You niggas ain't talking about no bad Old Red. Teeth falling out on stage and all that. Like, that shit embarrassing, my nigga. Come on. Talk that real shit. Feel me? Yeah, so niggas hate that, that energy that I bring, man. You know what I'm saying? You hear them talking about my energy. You see all the blogs talking about Jag energy. Jag brings some type of energy to the game. Yeah, man, come on, dawg. I ain't been in the game. You feel me? They telling me I'm bringing some type of energy. I'm just a real nigga. I'm talking real shit from the streets. This is how we talk. I've never been no nice guy. Why the fuck I'm gonna be nice to a nigga I'm on stage with? The fuck? It don't make no sense. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you, brother. When you first came back, yeah. it's like I don't know. Yeah. You know, we so used to people coming back into battle rap or coming yeah. into battle rap, and then a lot of people don't do that well. Yeah. And then when uh after the battle, I was like, okay. Well, let me ask you something right. like this. Because mm -hmm. uh, I heard a lot of people say that. Swamp, check this out. This a real street man. Let me ask you a question. You can't never, you ain't never judge a man's hands by what his brother or his older homie did, right? You can't never judge a nigga by what somebody else did. You could be on the block and this nigga OG homie could be knocking niggas out. That don't mean this nigga finna be knocking niggas out. He might not have no fucking hands. You feel me? And his big homie just happened to make him his little homie because he seen some potential in him or whatever the, whatever the case may be. But nigga, you can't judge a grown man off another grown man performance. I kept saying that. I don't give a fuck who came on stage before me on some industry shit. That shit don't got nothing to do with Jag. I'm a grown ass man. We go to jail right now. I gotta stand by myself. Now, none of these niggas could do nothing to help me, my nigga. So, all that, these niggas came before me, I don't give a fuck. That shit don't mean nothing. We still here. Third match. Oh, Red, what's happening? Feel me? Now, now you, bullshit. You, you know who Old Red is, right? Like, I know is who this Red just is. battle rap talk, or is this like, do you really think Old Red isn't as good as we think he is? Nah, Old Red is nice. 
Okay. I'm saying this in every interview I've been doing on Red Nights. I'm a real nigga, bro. I'm not no nigga who just gonna keep you gassing shit up. Like, nah, Red nice. I Red is a beast. I seen Red have some, some wild matches. But I also seen Red choke. You can't talk to, be, talk to me about Mike Tyson and I seen niggas like Lennox Lewis get in there and box the nigga up. You can't, like, nah. Nah. You can't tell me that he can't take me, he, he can't get beat. When a nigga can clearly get beat. We seen Mike Tyson lose a few times. But niggas gonna keep telling me about when Mike Tyson knock niggas out. I don't give a fuck. I seen a nigga get jabbed the fuck all the way to the bottom of the mat. So unless that man is Floyd, I don't even want to talk about what Old Red did. That's good. Fuck Old Red accomplishments. I ain't here for that. I don't give a fuck about what he did. Feel me? All that shit is the past, homie. You stand in front of me, this a whole different match. You could have had 150 matches. Every match different. Don't, don't ever think all your matches the same. Because that's the case, he'd be undefeated. And yeah, y'all just saying he undefeated on RBE. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That man still lost before. He could lose again. As long as I know you lost before, or I know it's, it's, a, it's a method, it's a recipe. Nigga gotta cook it up, that's it. It's a recipe to beat your ass. I just gotta find it. That's it. You lost before. Don't talk no shit to me. I seen niggas get at you. Who, who, who was it? Did they offer you Red or did they offer Red you? They offered you? me Red. They already okay. talked to Red when they talked to me, man. Okay. Red, I don't know how long Red been prepping for me. I don't even, I don't know none of that. All I was told, ARP called me. He said one thing. He said, hey, what you think about all Red? I said, hell yeah. He was like, okay, that's that's wild because he already said yeah too. So meaning that he spoke to the man before he talked to me. You know what I'm saying? Listen, he, ARP was trying to find somebody who could beat me. Because he was saying the 40 cal battle, uh -huh. 40 cal was so boring, and, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it trashed the battle, it made the battle look trash. He trying to find somebody who could be aggressive with me in there. He like, man, we thought Mav was going to be it, but you was just as aggressive as Mav. So it's like, shit, we trying to find somebody else. And these other niggas rapping over there, so we can't keep get certain niggas over here to do it. You know what I mean? We had certain names, we had show off. You know what I mean? I was supposed to battle Cal before Mav. And all that shit, like, yeah, so it was shit like that going on, and yeah, you know. I like you versus Show Off or Cal, those, those are yeah, some good Cal, matchups nigga, man, also. Yeah, Cal, spit that real shit, man. We yeah. definitely, you know what I mean, gonna end up talking one day, man. Right, you know? yeah, 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 that sounds like it'll be a good match. Yeah. 15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame, baby. Let's go!